That's where we come in, and we try to give them some rental assistance. We sign them up, sign them up on the pantry program, so they have food coming. Because food stamps is not enough. Right? That's what we do, and we've been doing it for 750 families this past year. At 50% next year, we'll do cut half of them off. That's what that means. So here's where we are. We're going to just talk about Zakat a little bit. We're 46.6% of our target, which means we're $466,000 out of our target of $1 million. Uh, the current rate, we may hit 55%. Okay. So I want to talk a little bit about what that means and some options, things we can do to help us get to the right, to the right number. <laughs> Yesterday, there were 400 Afghani refugees here. And it was, it, was, it was interesting, it was also crazy, because there were a bunch of kids running around, running around, they were just having fun. Right? And you can't imagine what it's like to be a kid where you can run around and you fall and it doesn't matter, because the carpet is here, you just run around, right? But it was noisy and crazy. And then uh, one of the, uh, I, forget, I don't see him right now. Um, what's his uh, name? Um, Mujaddadi, Khalid. Khalid Mujaddadi looked at the kids and said, this is our next generation. And they were 99% of Afghani. And it doesn't matter whether they were Afghani, or they were African Americans, or they were Desi. Right? That's our next generation. And let me tell you what the Afghani refugees go through. And I'm just saying this from paper. People here have actually gone through this. So they, don't, they don't know what this is. Right? For 40 years, the kids have seen their parents and their parents in wartime for 40 years. They've come over here, Allah has taken them out of Afghanistan and put them here. Right? The US comes and says, we'll give you $1,100 per person so you can find a place to live. That, by the way, is just rent and deposit. That's it. We're gone. After that, we'll give you $600 a month for food stamps, and California will give you $1,000. $1,600 a month. That's all you get. Figure out the language, figure out how to make money, figure out how to live, figure out how to get a car, figure out how to do all those things yourself. That's where we come in, and we try to give them some rental assistance. We sign them up, sign them up on the pantry program, so they have food coming, because food stamps is not enough. That's what we do, and we've been doing it for 750 families this past year. At 50% next year, we'll do cut half of them off. That's what that means. That's what that means. Now imagine a conversation. Well, let's take the hadith, the, the famous hadith, I'm going to paraphrase it, just get to the nub of it, which is, um, you know, Allah says in a hadith Qudsi, and somebody correct me, that I was sick and didn't visit me. Right? Hypothetical. I was poor and you didn't help me. They're here. What are we going to do? What's our responsibility? Oh, they're Afghani. We don't care about them. We're Pakistani. Or we're Indian. Or we're African American. No, we're Muslim first. So what we're asking you to do, if you're already given zakat, alhamdulillah. How can you help? Well, there's several things you can do, right? You can start giving next year's zakat. You can prepay the year's zakat after. Right? That's allowed. One. Two, give sadaqah. Put it in the zakat box. Have the intention of giving sadaqah, and it will be used for a zakat recipient. Right? That's an option. That you can do. Now, what I'm, what I'm asking you to do is, you know, we need $500,000. If we get half in the next two or three, four days, I'm sure in the rest of the year we'll make up the other half. Right? So do the math. A thousand people doing $250. 500 people giving $500, 250 people giving $1,000. 
right? Ask yourself the question, if you have $25,000 in the bank right now, can you afford to get $500? Imagine if Allah asked that question for you. What is your answer? What is our answer? Right? And this valley is full of engineers, doctors, lawyers, business people. We know who we are. If I ask people, how many people have 25,000? I'm not going to ask you. Don't, don't raise your hand, right? If I ask the question, how many people have $25,000 in the bank right now and can afford $500? Most of you will put your hand up. So bismillah, is our test. Allah put these people here. They're here. I'm not worried about the people in, in, you know, on the other side of the East Coast. I'm not worried about, I'm worried about people here. Right. So inshallah, please remember to do this. I'm going to be up here on the 29th again. And hopefully it'll be less talking. Jazakumullah khair.